And now, The Bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. We'll fix it in post. Fuck it! We'll do it live! Uh, it is The Bonfire. Comedy Central Radio Series XM 95. We are live on a Tuesday. Tech problems uh, opening up the show. Um, the show before us. Bevelations. Getting bevy with it. What's it called? Bevelations. Nothing but a Bev thing. With uh, Bevy Smith. Um, it is a... Uh, there seems to always be some sort of a tech issue going on. Well, also we get in a little bit late. Again, no fault of theirs. But... Uh, now none of us. Oh, I think I'm getting it now. Both ears. I think. I think now we're good. We got it. Yep. We're all fixed, Lou. Yeah, but what the fuck was it? God only knows. Tragedy averted. God only. God only knows. And uh, I'm Big Jay Okerson. Dan Soder off doing billions today. Also tonight headlining at the Comedy Cellar, the original Comedy Cellar room, a rare headline set. Pretty exciting. Mm -hmm. um, go check it out. Go to ComedyCellar.com. For tickets to that, if you are in the New York area and you want to go, it's happening 7 p.m. tonight. Shane Gillis, I believe, on the show also. Going to be a, a a hell of a show. Go show your love and support for Dan. Uh, sitting in the Dan chair today, uh, we bring him back. You never know if there's going to be crossover topic. And I like a show where I'm just comfortable with my, with my host and as a friend and uh, as a person to have a conversation with for two hours. And I say, why Why are we stretching it out this week when the obvious answer is right there? Justin Silver. He's not available. He's not available. Yeah, buddy. Uh, I reach out to Dante Nero. He becomes not available. Uh, no, of course, again, coming back by popular demand, uh, and most of that popularity is this guy right here. And pretty much is all of it, I think. Hell yeah, America's amigo, everyone. Poncho Mike himself, Thanks. Mike Fenoya. Thanks. Yay. It's a lot of Mike in one week for these That's listeners. a lot of Mikes. Oh, boy. They love it. Um, I want to figure out, is this so bad? Because if I'm right about this, it's, it's very funny that the show before us is... Uh, heavy set sassy black women it says round three there's a piece of paper we found just on the desk when they left and it's something i guess from their show it's a game they were playing this is round three it says give it guess it uh in this round you'll have 40 seconds to correctly uh to correctly guess rapid fire clues about various people places and things associated with popular music every correct guess is worth a point and you're allowed to pass if you don't know a specific item. Just a reminder, the winner of this round will advance to our winner's round. The runner-up will be eliminated from this game. I'm not fully understanding. There are two copies. And then it's a list. It's a list of... Uh, is it like password? Like I have to make you say something? Is that how it works? I don't know. Through I weird play. clues? Yeah, I have 40 seconds to correctly guess rapid-fire clues, so I have to give rapid-fire clues without saying the person. Okay. Um, do you want to see if we can get through one of these super, super-duper quick? <laughs> yeah. You think we can tear through this? I, let's try it. Um, okay. Don't look Don't look all the way down, though, because then I'll throw it back at you if, if it's fun. Sure, yeah. Um, here we go. I got shot nine times. Famously got shot nine times. Rapper. Oh, big. Come on, man. Shot Tupac. nine times to live. Tupac. It's already... 50 cent. We're already out. Oh, wait, actually, we have purpose. 40 seconds. Actually, start, start this over. Yeah. I didn't and know we were talking a, about rappers. Give me uh, 40 seconds. Okay. What are we talking... We're talking about rappers? What's the show? It's not all rappers. No, no. It's oh. just... You, you have to say, it's, it's things... It's music. Oh. Oh. Um, Let's go uh, through... Wait, wait, let me know when we should start. Hang on. Did you already start the timer? It restarts. Give me a start. Wait, say go, Lou. Go. All right. They're the kings of rock. They're on on higher. They're the oh, run the MC. Um, just banging Pete Davidson for a hot minute. Ariana Grande. Absolutely. Uh, I mean, if you're thinking about MC Hammer, you know that he is. He's what? MC Hammer. Something what to what? Too legit to quit. Two. I got that in. He Judges. Got yeah. yeah. We were 40 you seconds already? Win! That was 40 seconds? No way. I don't know. I thought he was wrong. He's right. Too legit to quit. Well, I think, yeah, I, you are. I think, no, I think the whole thing is how many we get in 40 seconds. Well, then you got to read them faster. 
Yeah, but no, but the thing is, you can guess wrong. Right. We don't move on. That's how password works. Right. God, you guys don't know anything about passwords. It's always been our sticking point in the show. Uh, um, I'm going to start a different uh, list now. Okay, let me know when to go, Lou. Go! They sing Take It Easy. Eagles. Um, here in his car. He can do 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 do. Oh, shit. In cars. Fuck. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> today, Junior. You going to pass? Nah, nah, nah. I don't know the name. Are you going to pass? Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's the one they call this. He's, he's going to make you feel all right. Dr. Feelgood. Um, they sing Drops of Jupiter and a bunch of other gay stuff. Oh, shit. Uh, is that like Maroon 5 or some shit? No, it's not. It's like them, though. Hey, Soul Sister. Uh, 40 seconds? You blew it! 40 seconds Jupiter. is up? No. Train? Is that train? Yeah. Yes. Are we still going, then? Um, Three, shit. It was two, one. Of a one. Fuck. I am not lined up. Who could I try to do to see if I'm better at this? Let me list? see. I'll read it to you. In cars, who sings that? Gary That's Newman, cool. man. All right, give me it. Can, can I try one with Jacob? <laughs> yeah. Let me try one with you, Jacob. You got to go though too, because I mean, we could just jump in the middle of any of these lists yeah. and just start doing them. It's a matter of how many. How many do we get? Uh, what did we I didn't even more? check how many we got. Oh, this I'll is tell what we got. We got go the again. Eagles. We got Doctor Feelgood. We got Train. We got three. I got through some before though. That was just practice. No, we, I wasn't on this round. We, uh, we did it. You ready, Jacob? I'm going to do it with you. Let me know when you're ready. You ready? Somebody keep track. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just pressing I'm buttons. Keeping track. I'll keep track on this one. You got it, Christine? You ready? Yeah. Um, no. Okay. Uh, fat Booty married in a cannon. Mariah Carey. Yes. Joan Jett, Lita Ford were in a group of young girls who got molested by a guy in the band. Blackhearts? No. no Joan when they were children, Cherry, whatever. Ch -ch 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 the Runaways? They think, yes. Uh, I think he likes to touch dicks, so they made a move to Vietnam. He has that big anthem. Damn. Oh, uh, hey. Gary Glitter. Yes. Nice. Um, awesome Metallica song. You have to obey your... Master of Puppets. Yes. Uh, they, they, that queefy boy band that they wear tight uh, Euro suits. When you were young, Mr. Brightside. Oh, man. Sorry, I got... Come on. I don't know that one, and I'm out of time. time. <laughs> you Killers! Yeah. Sorry. Right, who do I do it with now? I got Black Lou. Four. You did great, Jake. Black Lou. Uh, oh, you think someone's got to read them to me? Yeah. Like me clues. I'll do it. All right. Well, I'm gonna do it. All right. What's the record so far? How Four. Jacob. 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 Mike got three and thirty and forty seconds. All right. Um, Are you I'm going to I'm going to basically uh and I could just go all over the place with this. All mm -hmm, right. Mm -hmm. I'm fine with it, baby. All right. Oh. Ready? Call in people if you want to try. And go. Uh Blind Black Man, Georgia. Ray Charles. Yep. Um Nights in White Satin. Hootie Blues. Yep. This is a TV show, Kelly Clarkson. American Idol. Yep. Um this is a band uh that you like. They wear funky masks on stage and Slipknot. shit. not. Yep. Um, never gonna get it, never gonna get it. In vogue. Yep. Uh, this guy, white guy, um, DJ <laughs> with Beastie Boys. Um, he, or he was producer, producer, Beastie Rick Boys. Ruben. Yes, yes, yes. Um, uh, so blank, blank, baby, I love you, 80s song, uh, where cone bra. Time. Madonna. Yeah, what's the song? True blue, baby. I love you. That's good. That was good. I think it's all on. on what the, did I get? Six. But see, dude, it's all about how you ask the questions, too, though, man. I think I feed great questions. Yeah. Jacob, you're yeah. real good. All right, let me know when you're. Who, you want to try one, Lou? You think you know about music that you wear on t shirts underneath button down shirts? All right, I think I do that. You think you're ready? Yeah, let's try. Fuck it. <clears throat> and go. Um. First album, Smashing Pumpkins, that everybody cared about. Uh, Siamese Dream. Boom. Not uh, not Apple Music, but the other one is. Not Apple Music. Uh. The other one. What's the other service? Oh, Pandora. Nope. The other one. Uh, Spotify. Yes. Um, he's that queefy dude that sings that she's a brick and whatever. Looks like Chris Jim Gethard. Keith James. No, no, uh, no. James Brown. Wait. No. James Brown. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> even queefier, dude. Even khakier. Come on. Rick James. She's a brick and I'm drowning. Oh, piano I know you're player. Singing a black dude. Piano player. Wow. 
Was that that was two. Done? Two. Christine, wow. can I see if me and you were simpatico I want to know what's here? hilarious. I'm pressing yeah. buttons, though. Jay, Jay said queefy dude probably six times as a clue. <laughs> queefy. So Are you queefy. only allowed to give one clue? <laughs> no. I try to make my clues as fast as I just possible. Make, I'm, sing, I'm making such a great clue that you guys, would, uh, just have to repeat that clue instead of giving a new queefy clue dude. when somebody's not getting it. He wants, uh, <laughs> let's do it. It's voted most queefy dude. Okay, it's somebody else timing. Uh, yeah. You got it? Jacob's Me and Christine. Christine. Wait, wait, hang on. Okay. Let me give her a pep talk. All right. Please don't fuck this up. <laughs> <laughs> wait, can I pass? I love you so much. Huh? Can I pass? You yeah. can pass. You can pass. Oh, you can? Why can't you pass? I asked Mike right in the beginning first one if you wanted to pass. Oh, oh okay. Um, <clears throat> let's do it. And go. She's a fine girl. What a good wife she would be. Brandy. Mm-hmm. Um, we like to go to these in the summertime, certain kind of concert. Uh, festival. Yes. She's the other one from TLC. Uh, Chili. Yes. Wow. Um, the only Radiohead album I like or songs are on this album. OK Computer. Yes. Um, fake documentary about a, a heavy metal band. Spinal Tap. Yes. It's the drum you play right between your legs uh, they, with the sticks. Ba oh, snare. Yes. When people uh, have gripe in hip hop, they call it a what? Beef. Yes. You don't like this song or this band because they do coke music. Time's up. Oh, but you got to answer that because you know it. <clears throat> Who sings "Stepping Out"? No, not no, no, no. no, no. no. The one, the one you really don't like. Ron Bennington came in. The one that gives you the heebie -jeebies. Oh, the, 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 they're, they're nominated for the thing. Good tie-in. Love it is, is a drug uh, Roxy Music me. Club. Yes, Roxy, yeah. Roxy Music Group. Yeah, great Roxy job, Christine. Can't give you, you that, but you're still it. Uh, crushing at seven. You got in that. <laughs> Lou's got to. I, I think Lou's going to get do really well in this. Black Lou, you got this, dude. <clears throat> I don't know music that well. Okay. Debbie Gibson. Let me know when you're ready. And uh, I'm ready, yeah. Go! He was the lead singer of Depeche Mode. Pass. <laughs> <laughs> Real queefy dude. <laughs> they swing their beat at the playground, you know? Playground. B-52s? No. Wow. Pass. All right. Uh, guitarist for Corn left band to become religious, came back to band. Pete Best next. Nope. <laughs> oh man, no this is harder than I thought. When someone makes a short, a short album, like a shorter album, an, an not an a LP. Long uh, nope. I uh, I have no idea. Pass. Pass on that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, of course, Marie Osmond's brother, Donnie. <laughs> I can't give you that one though. Hey. Ran out of time. Uh, <laughs> Best left corn, Lewis. <laughs> in fairness, we can give it to him. It's still last place. In fairness, <laughs> in fairness I did ask ones that I always thought it'd be funny to ask a black guy. Goes, lead singer Depeche Mode, fire. <laughs> <laughs> Morrissey's third album, Martin Gore. If you were curious, if you wanted to for the records for next time, Lou Martin Gore. Um, let us know if anybody wants to chime in and see if I could feed you. Uh, feed you where I know people want it bad. Um, we said Roxy Music, and they are. I believe they're up for nomination for the official Rock and Roll Hall of Fame Class 2019. Who else is on? Oh, I can't. It's a, wait it's to a big see list. This. Make it bigger, and we'll read off the list of who's even up. Um, and then we'll tell you who's winning as of right now, because that's available too. Def Leppard. This is uh, yeah. this is alphabetical. Def Leppard. You say no? No, they should get it. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Devo. I guess yeah. for that one song and the look, but I don't, they stink. <laughs> Janet Jackson. Sure. John Prine. Who's John Prine? John Prine should be in. Who is that? He's like a, a um, singer songwriter. Like he's a vi he influenced a lot of music. A lot of people look All to right. him. He as, should be in. Yeah, fair. Craft work. I'm unfamiliar right. with. Holy shit! John, let Prine. me see him. Show John Prine. His face looks like Artie's nose. <laughs> it really does. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! He's got a million albums. Yeah. Um, yeah. Craft work is a uh, is one of those like kraut rock I think things, right? I don't Aren't think they? That's a very PC term to say. What's that mean? Scandinavian. Oh, like, Kraut? Oh, Nazi jams. Nazi yeah, jams. yeah, 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 yeah. They should be. <laughs> Does Kraut mean Nazi? <laughs> no, it means uh, German. German. 
Oh. It's like that. That. that but weird, is it like, like dance hall? Is it like ecstasy? derogatory German? No, I don't think. So. It if like it Polak? was, if it was, yeah. thoughts if and it prayers. Is, who's sticking up for it? Polak. 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 <laughs> Polak. Polak. <laughs> How hilarious would it be for a German person to come out and say you're being racist? Crowd <laughs> rock. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, no, this is a good one. This is the remix. <laughs> This is Kraut uh, uh, 42, motherfucker, 42. Yeah, see, look, they're 42, all, they're, motherfucker, 42. They're weird, like, fucking that music. Turn it up. I want to hear Kraut Rock. No. You already don't like it? <laughs> Just give you anxiety. Music like this used to scare Mike. It really did. Mike thinks synthesizers are uh, the work of demons. I hate anything like this with that drippy piano. Like you know yeah. that song, "Take These Broken Wings." And yeah. that song scares the shit out this of me. This shouldn't be uh, in the Hall of Fame. It should be in a "You Got Served" battle against Blue Man Group. <laughs> Do <laughs> they not the sing? You don't need lyrics when you have shitty noises in the background, Christine. All That's right. craft work. Guys. Why are you listening to the music when you could be looking at that puzzle? All right, craft work. Get the fuck out of here. <clears throat> Uh, LL Cool J, yeah. yes. MC5, uh, MC5 yeah. yes. Radiohead, yes. fine. Yes, I'm not yes. A fan. absolutely. I'm not a fan, but fine. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, Rage against Which I'll say for Jan Jackson, Listen, absolutely. Tom Morello is now one of the board members. So they'll probably make it happen? The, last year they were inducted, too, I believe. I just like, not they inducted, they were, they, were, they were nominated, nominated last year. I'd like to see him get nominated. I hope they'd all come perform, because yeah. that's always another thing where it's like, it sucks they get in. Uh, Rage Against the Machine for sure deserves it. Roxy Music Group for sure deserves it. Uh, Rufus featuring Shaka Khan for sure. Stevie Nicks, yes, The Cure. What is a hard year? Yeah. The Cure, The yes. Zombies, and finally Todd Rundgren, who I don't like at all. But how do you say he doesn't deserve to be in? What I don't want to work. I just want to bang on the drum all day. Who's that, Todd Rundgren? Yeah. I'm, yeah, well, whatever he was doing, what he Hello, did, what, what, he did was, what he did was raise Steven Tyler's daughter as his own <laughs> until she got old enough to not be a problem anymore. And then she was like, I'm going to go hang out with my real dad, Steven Tyler. Now, he's way awesome, her music was. <laughs> Once Ryko Disc started putting out Todd Rundgren, she moved back in with her real dad. <laughs> That's a great list. That's a really How good... How many get in? F uh, five a year, I five, think. Yeah, right? I five. think so. Five or six. Um, uh, but if you can, you look and see. Uh, they could tell you who's. Wait, hold on. Wait, 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 it's good to get. Like, I, I think it's definitely going to be uh, Radiohead, Def Leppard, LL Cool J. Um, Radiohead, Def Stevie Leppard, Nicks LL Cool J. Get in. Yeah. Stevie Nicks, and I would say. Uh, can you roll, can you roll down a little bit? Can you go down, down? Yeah. Here. Who's your five? You're gonna say before we? Is that what you're doing? That's what I'm doing right okay, now. Yeah, Sorry, yeah, I'm trying yours. to get it where you can see. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say it's gonna be. Oh shit, Janet Jackson. We gotta mark these. Yeah, Ray, I'm gonna say it's gonna be Def Leppard, mm -hmm. um, Def Leppard, uh, LL Cool J, Radiohead. Wait, is this who we want or who we think? This gonna is what win? I think's gonna get in. Okay, so Def. Le I'm sorry, sir. Def Leppard. Yep. Uh, LL Cool J, Radiohead, um, Stevie Nicks. And uh, the zombies. All That's five of mine put craft work. <laughs> <laughs> um, people on the line want to play the game. Uh, I'm going to go with, let's go with Juan in Alabama. Uh, I'll feed it to him. We'll see how many he gets. Uh, hang on, I'm learning how to work these things. Juan, you there? Yeah, what's going on? Crackle, crackle. Crackle, crackle, dude. Uh, thanks for calling the show. You want to play the game here? You want to play the password with me? I'm going to do my absolute best, but I'm either going to know it or I will have no idea. It's going to be right off the bat or no clue. That's pretty That's much how questions enough. work. I like it. I like it. <laughs> All right, let's play this thing. And go. It's the uh, albums they make of already shitty music, then they have kids do it. Kid pop. Yes. Um, people perform on this. Covers? Uh... No, you know, it's, when you watch somebody performing, they're up on a... Stage, uh, live. Yes. Um, she's all about that bass. No treble, which was the way it was, her cool way of saying she's fat. Make a trainer, that's right. Make a trainer. Yes. Absolutely. Uh, it's a type of record where you have a bunch of songs from different artists. Mixtape. Uh, no. Uh, compilation. Compilation. Yes. Uh, it's fun to hang at the... Aww. You got four. It's Four? not bad. Yeah. That's not bad. Tied the highest in here, with the exception no, of me and Christine, who are simpatico. And I think that if you... Uh, I'm not going to lie, like, well, Christine three of those ahead. definitely from... Uh, three of those are definitely from my girlfriend. No doubt. 
All right, you keep giving her all this credit. We get it. You're, you a, you're a man who needs his woman. <laughs> all right. In that relationship. Jesus Christ. You think she's next to him hitting him, going like, you better fucking say I got all three of this. All right, all right, babe. <laughs> we can all hear it. We can hear her. All right, that. babe. That's what I do. I go, Christine, tell him the story. Tell him how great I was in that story. She's like, fucking kids, Bob. <laughs> Four, it's not bad. Good job, Juan. What's your girlfriend's name? <laughs> One more time. What's your girlfriend's name? It's Joanna. Joanna? Juan and Joanna. Like Mary Joanna. Oh, really? You're like, Juan no, and no. Juana? Juana, <laughs> Juana. My neighbors. My neighbors Did you guys meet on a jet ski up. in international waters? <laughs> Juana, Juana, Juana. <laughs> Alabama. <laughs> yeah, and you're in Alabama? What the hell is that? That's weird. <laughs> Where'd you guys meet? Juana and Juana in Alabama. Juan and Juana. <laughs> like a black, Ala- yeah. a black Betty verse that didn't make it into the song. <laughs> they met in Alabama. It was at a rooster fight. Ram blam. Um, <laughs> thanks for calling in, Juan and Juana. <laughs> yeah, thanks, man. Later. You got it, man. Take care, brother. I like that. That's such a good sign off, too. Later. <laughs> Later, bro. Peace. I feel let, like me give it, let me give it to one more person before we. Well, what are we going to say, Jacob? Oh, about know, the list? Was, yeah, I feel right. like I'm going to nail this Don't list. We'll get our list. We'll get our yeah. list up. Um, you, any, you have any of the same picks, you think? Some, but not all Pop of these yours. niggas like a willy nigga. You a silly nigga. Oh. In a hole with oh. a willy nigga. What? Oh, you know what? Oh. Ryan in Miami calls in all the time. We don't get to his call that often. So let's take Ryan. Let's let Ryan play the game. Ryan, you there, buddy? Yeah, what's up? Crackle, crackle, folks. Crackle, crackle, dude. Let's do this. Me and you, are gonna, we're going to take this thing. The only person who stands in your way of being the champ of this game for the first half hour of the show is Christine and the fact that we are mind-linked together. Now, some say that happens with everyone you have soul-crushing anal with. But... <laughs> yeah, it's not fair. I don't like, know. I don't know if that's like, You do laundry is. naked to this song. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, let me know when we're ready to start. You ready, Ryan? Ready. And go. Uh, this guy had wacky hair, made a bunch of really shitty songs in the 70s where he had dumb instruments and he had a big honker nose and named his kids dumb shit. Uh, Frank Zappa? Yes. Uh, the other blind black guy who plays piano, he does, He hit Denise Huxley. Stevie Wonder. Yes. Um, <laughs> after a show, sometimes people buy an extra ticket to go do this with a band. Uh, meet backstage. Um, what's that called? What's nerds. that? What's that little uh, that thing uh, called? VIP. Blank, mm. blank and blank. Blank and blank. Meet and greet. Yes. Oh, let's keep going here. We got so many more. Oh, it's the the records. Uh, <sighs> yeah, man. See, that was pretty good. You did pretty good. Good job, Ryan. I'm gonna read. What do we get? How many do we get? Three. Three. We got three. That's not bad, Ryan. You're right in the right in the average there. And I yeah, said, cool. you know, and it's this thing is square biz down the middle. I have been doing fantastic password handing. It kind of comes down to what, you know, what it is you know. How am I supposed to know the Black Lou is the one black guy who doesn't know the lead singer of Depeche Mode is? <laughs> I'm supposed dude, to come in knowing that. I'm supposed, to come, I'm supposed to come in knowing that. You go crazy guy, with long crazy hair, made a bunch of wacky songs, big Shitty honker, songs, named his kids big, crazy names, big honker, <laughs> big honker, big honker, crazy named his kids a bunch of crazy guitar. shit. <laughs> fucking anybody. Fucking uh, yeah. <laughs> That's great. Steam sack Zappa. Blind guy hit bibble nuts. Bibble nuts Zappa. He, he hit a Huxtable. <laughs> yeah, he had a Huxtable, remember? You, say, like, anything you don't else. remember Stevie Wonder, Black Lou, hit Denise Huxtable? Or no, she hit him, the limo. And then they had to go meet Stevie Wonder? Jamming on the one. Jam- jamming on the one. <laughs> Robert. Oh, okay. Come on. Whoever I'm touching with this yep. recollection of the episode is hitting them hard in their car right now. <laughs> That's back Robert. When- they go, who's the boy you're dating? Robert. Robert. Rob, Rob, Robert. Robert. And then they asked Theo to say something cool. And you know what his answer was to that? Jamming on the one. <laughs> he goes, jamming on the one. Jamming on. Jam, jam, jamming on the one. <laughs> Brain, damage. Brain damage. That's what you got to inflict if you want to get the good pussy. Look out, Godfrey. I'm coming for you. Uh, I'm taking over this whole fucking building. Everybody. I'll let you now. Yeah. You got jamming on the one? What would you say at a party? His response: jamming on the one. Jamming on the one. What would you say at a party? Jamming on the one. What do you expect from a, a royal blue sport coat in the '80s? Oh my God! What else is he gonna say? 
<laughs> that is exactly the answer I would expect from a man whose father was raping women. Um, while pregnant. <laughs> while pregnant. Let me see. Yeah. I goes, I'm sorry, guys, I confused reality. And uh, I think it was, it was Dr. Heathcliff Huxtable no. was raping his pregnant patients. <laughs> no, no, no. Bill Cosby. Oh. oh get it right. Oh. All right. I'm sorry, wrong. legal. Um, Ryan, thanks so much for calling, buddy. And, you got uh, it, guys. Let's take our first break. We're coming right back. We're hanging out with Mike Fenoy. Mike Fenoy, of course, uh, the Amigos podcast on the Osiris Network, as well as iTunes. And, of course, we're going to be doing the show together. The Mike Fenoy Presents Amigos show, 1030 Thursday. Me, Sal Volcano, Greg Rogel. I'm sure some guest stars. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be a really, really fun night. And uh, Christine will be there. Tickets are moving Christine. fast. So. You could probably convince, you could probably convince uh, DJ Lou to be there for sure. You'd probably get Jacob on the move. Jacob? It's very possible. Well. Um, so we'll see. It'll be a fun night. And uh, we'll be right back. It's the bonfire. And now back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. In our sweet ham. This song fucking sucks. You don't mean that. It doesn't suck. It's music you get your pants hemmed to. Yeah, for sure. But it's not a terrible song. I'm putting it on. I'm trying to get in the vibe a little bit. I'm taking Christine tonight to um, Mumford and Sons, the garden. Right yeah. after the show, we're going to rush over there. That's cool. And watch You're going to uh, get an artisan burger on the way there and maybe try some single malt scotch made in a. These are literally fucking things you love. <laughs> you're you're really shooting down things that you literally that you literally <laughs> asked me if I want to drive an hour out of a way to go do this very thing you're talking about. <laughs> you haven't had the caramel honey pretzel? Well, buddy, have I got to tell you about a little nook in Connecticut? Saddle up. I'm going to put on a Birds of a Feather from 98 Nassau <laughs> and we're going to drive. We're going to see Mumford and Sons. We're going to have a banjo strumming uh, romantic night. Why not? No, it's cool that's a, that you guys are going. I yeah, think it's, it's going to cool. be fun. It's a I cool like date thing. Their performance on SNL this uh, weekend blew me away. The second song uh, was fantastic. So No. They're, and we, and we, and we saw them in Bonnaroo, by the way, and loved them live. But I cannot, cannot listen to them recorded. No. Amazing live, you saw Amazing them live, live you said, right? We saw him Bonnaroo, oh, yeah. well, yeah, Bonnaroo, but yeah. you saw him otherwise, right? No, we saw him live at Bonnaroo, and then I saw this this SNL performance was from this week, and they're just, they're incredible. I mean, we, we didn't listen to the music. We kind of went halfway through the show, and to have a band where you don't know the music, you're not, and it was just riveting. The were performance spun, was amazing. Were you spun the fuck out? No. At Bonnaroo? Because no, everything's they, great when we, you're we were, chewing lip. No, that's like, you know, we took shrooms on the night we saw Kendrick Lamar. This was a different night. That's why I said, I'm like, I wasn't fucked up. It was nothing like that. They were just an Amazing live band. I would like it's Pearl Jam. You ever see Pearl Jam live? That's I why I said I would go see Fish. No, yeah, I know. Because maybe it's just an incredible you guys live were, performance. You guys were supposed to come, but Jay chickened out last minute because there was like a storm cloud. Remember? Yeah. You're like, I'm not going. I don't want to get my sneakers <laughs> dirty. I don't want to go sit in mud to watch uh, a show that I, you know, what if I don't end up enjoying it that much? Dude, you know what? I'm almost kind of <laughs> glad you didn't go, and I don't mean this in like I a shitty way. I think you came back way. and told me that right then and there, that it wasn't a very good show. No, even. no, it was a good show for me because I like the, you know, shit where they draw it out a little bit, but I, I want you no, to go. No, you said that show Particularly, there was like a lot of meatheads there. You said, "Well, it was a New York shit show." Yeah. Same. That's what I didn't like when they played Thirteen Nights at the Garden. Anything in New York, it, it gets like it's not a hundred percent fan. You know, like those we talked about it. You drive eighteen hours up to the tip of Maine and you go to a festival. Oh, you think not, there's gonna be fucking? Mum, you think there's gonna be fucking Mumford Thugs tonight? <laughs> Mumford Thugs. Mumford Thugs showing up tonight. This guy's coming in. He goes, "Yo, I just want to hear some banjo music and I'm gonna need a wide berth when I sit in my chair. Do something." I'll tell you what. I'll make a prediction right now get ready to watch the show through someone else's phone because that seems like the type of crowd that'll just stand there and fucking video record the whole goddamn thing just bouncing off their fucking balding white heads it really is just gonna be it's gonna be a sea of white people yeah it's honka palooza in there tonight for sure where are oh. your seats do you uh, know? is fish a real diverse <laughs> no no it's goddamn yeah I know. <laughs> is that some <laughs> black Lou, you'd be in heaven there buddy appreciation day <laughs> you'd be in heaven it's really there. not it's black very Lou. similar to mumford and sons <laughs> black would be right in the middle of that black Lou look like a raisinette in the middle of a popcorn but <laughs> <laughs> just knows every word <laughs> filming <laughs> you a booger on a white sweater shirts on in all sweet home do you, yeah, you listen to it. the recorded albums like you're you're a fan of the music you know the songs or i know a lot of the songs because of my wife and we listen to the albums on the way to and from Massachusetts. Oh, so yeah. That's why I know like a lot of this shit. Yeah. She likes Mumford and Sons? She loves them. That's good I-84 East music. 
Driving Basically, back and forth from Massachusetts. Yeah, should've you should have had her come in the city Mass tonight. Bank. Go see at the garden. I didn't. That's, yeah. He looks. A, a, Tickets aren't that bad. He looks a lot like Chris Stanley. A lot. Like a real lot. <laughs> a His lot. face is Chris Stanley's face. And look at there's 17 dudes making no sound. And they all switch. <laughs> they know they all switch instruments, different things. Look, look at that dude. Look at this. No, look not at this banjo guy. Idiot. Banjo guy keeps a banjo. Yeah. Well, he's the only guy. But look at this keyboard guy's just knobbing up and down like, ding. Ding. I mean, how much does he get paid? Look at that Chris Stanley face right there. Yeah, oh, he really does. Does that Chris, Chris Stanley, Stanley looks like the lead singer of Mumford and Sons. He looks just like him. Good voice. Chris Stanley Great. wishes it was raining sniz on him the way it is on this guy. <laughs> so they did. Uh, you said they were there last night too. Yeah. So they sell out two nights at the Garden. Yeah. That's pretty I cool. Know. I think so, they, they've yeah. got to have with whoever their fan base is. Like they've got to have a crazy live following with how good. I would have. I would have. to be a bunch of ankle length skirts tonight. <laughs> yeah. And what are the girls going to be wearing? I imagine um, that I would have thought they would Mom be... Mum sluts? <laughs> Mum sluts. <laughs> M- Mufford and... Uh, I would imagine that they would have done Radio City. Maybe a couple nights at Radio City or The Beacon. I didn't think that they would have been oh, this doesn't selling out the garden. No, I think, Two I mean, nights I think, in a row? I think they're a big arena show, too, quite yeah. honestly. They're playing in the round. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. That'll be uh, whatever. <laughs> It'll be great if uh, my seats don't suck. I know dick. that's pretty shitty, huh? I never thought about that. I, I never pi- saw. I had to pick today. We called the guard and everything, and they really couldn't tell us a whole heap of shit. Either. He goes, he goes, they move around a lot. <laughs> I go, but does it seem to be the instruments facing one direction more than the other, or something like that? So yeah, one side, the, the the price. It seems like they're it's a little even. He sort could, of, you it can't could have tell. a rotating stage. Maybe, but yeah. he didn't give us that information. He just goes, no, nah, they're all over the place. So where are you? Are you on the floor? No. No. We went uh, about three three rows. We three rows back? Six? Yeah, so, yeah Sixth row. section up. Not a bad seat in the garden. It's fucking awesome. Yeah, I really yeah. like it. Yes, yes, Lou? Dude, if I don't dance, I'm going to die. It's true. <laughs> um, big fan of the song like Little Lion Man from them. You don't like that recorded? You like that I don't. Live? I couldn't even tell you what it is. They do like a 40-minute Little Lion Man. I don't. I, I'm telling you, I'm walking in there. The only song I know right now this is this one. Me Jeez. too. I said it's it's a band where I don't know any of their music, so I'm not like waiting for songs. I'm like I'm really excited to just go enjoy live music for. No, the I'm night. with you. I hear you. But I want to be. I would go for stoned. Yeah. yeah, you gotta be. You gotta. Do you have be. a pen. You could borrow no, mine if you want. Died. I have mine with me if you want. You could borrow it. It's Can a good we? Colorado. We uh, yeah. Yeah. One to one CBD sour diesel mix. It's nice. Yeah. Yep. Mm. If you want to start charging it up, um, yeah. I bet you it's not that long of a show either. I bet you it's a pretty quick show. That's another. They played two and a half hours of Bonnaroo. They have that much stuff. Yeah, and it was weird because the whole first half of the concert, because apparently they went from like the folky banjoy music into more rock and roll, and so the concert was like the first half was. I hope he starts smoking during the show. He does. I'm lighting up. A bogue. Hell yeah. He yeah. did that at Bonner. You smoke, smoke the whole totally time. Smoke at the garden, yeah. dude. The least thing our modest like- mouse does that too. It's awesome. Well, at general mission, you can fucking rip. Everyone smokes all the time at fish, all over the fucking place. We almost really? got in trouble yeah. for smoking in the halls at the garden. But that's Remember also that? a little bit of a fucking careless crowd too. You know what I mean? Like. There's a lot of people yeah, so pissing in the hallway. They have no idea. He goes, is that guy smoking a cigarette or is he playing an astral accordion? <laughs> what? <laughs> is he playing a mouth vacuum? <laughs> is that guy playing a vacuum as an instrument? That would be a fun I a show. I feel like if I was like at a thing and Mumford and Sons were playing, I wouldn't walk by them. You know what I mean? Like if they were playing like in the train station or something. Hey, Rocco, you want to kick her out of bed for eating crackers? I'm going to kick her out of bed for eating soup. <laughs> I want such a I'll give it to you, old Gage. What's your picks? Uh, I want to know what Jacob's picks are for. Uh, and while Jacob, while you iron that out, let's take. We only have one more caller. Wants to play the game. Might as well play the game with him. Uh, oh, we have Clint, North Carolina. Clint, you there, buddy? Crackle, crackle. Shout out to Poncho Mike. Hey, buddy. You want me to read you the questions? Sure, man. All right. Give me you those this, things. You want this bullshit ass guy feeding you the lesson? That's, that's fine. That's I'm very just letting you know. Aggressive. I'm just letting you know. I'm letting you know that Christine got seven with my clues. Yeah. All right. And let's go. Bob Marley's record label. Pass. <laughs> really? Oh boy. Good job, Mike. Uh, Kiss. Uh, the, the the Kiss is hit. It's got the name of the town they're from. Uh, Detroit Rock City. You got it. Um. I'm a loser, baby, so why don't you kill me? Weezer. Wow. Nope. Want to try again? Shit. 
No, I'll pass. Okay. Um, these are uh, not sisters, but blank. And uh, brothers. Yep. And the first word is uh, uh, like uh, bl- what the fuck. That's a bad one. Never mind. Chemical Brothers. That was that one. That's my fault. These are so yeah, good at this. These are horrific. Oh, time's up. <laughs> time's up. I'm sorry. <laughs> horrific feeds. Can I, Clint? Can I just real quick? What? How much did he get? How is that? One. No, one. no, he got more than one. No, I think he got one. Island Records is Bob Marley's he label. Didn't he didn't pass. Don't tell I him. I understand that, but that wasn't. I know, but a I terrible, still give him the chit, huh? That wasn't a terrible. C- but that's uh, the clue. only clue. It's the only clue. What, what, what would you have said for Island Records? I would have skipped it completely. We're I running out of done. things that we haven't asked. Uh, you could always get back to it. You'll see. Um, <laughs> let me know when we have. Sorry, buddy. Let me know when we have. We're ready to go, Clint. We're going to mean you're going to do this. I'm going to show. I'm going to show the world that that was a Mike Fenoya fault. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> and go. <clears throat> it's fun to stay at the... Holiday Inn? No, no, no. <laughs> Village People song. Hang on. Uh, YMCA. Yes. Holiday Inn. Uh, a record album is made of... <laughs> Wax? No, what do they call it? <laughs> Wax? Come on. P- pieces Pat. of... I'll pass. All right. Black uh, group from, from Philadelphia, they're Jimmy Fallon's band. Roots? Yes. Uh, he's married to that girl, Chrissy Teigen, whose titties always falling out. Oh, shit. It's not Mike Legend. Uh, I'm going to pass. Close. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Uh, ah. I want to give oh! you a... Who's so fucking bad at He got more, though. He had more, though, with me. He got me. two. He had two. He almost got Chrissy Teigen, but... What would you have said since you're the last one, Clint? What would you have said I said if I told you this brings all the boys to the yard? Milkshake. Yeah. Yeah. We have done great together, me and you. It's fun to stay at the Holiday Inn. <laughs> it's fun to stay at the Holiday Inn. It's fun to stay at the Holiday Inn. You get late checkout. <laughs> There's a one clean. rap song. <laughs> and an all night little market where you can buy four dollar pretzels at the <laughs> holiday. And you it's gotta fun. park your car high. With the confused late night staff that can't help you with anything. <laughs> Are you really asking for menus when you have a phone? It's fun to stay at the Holiday Inn. In Columbus, Ohio, Holiday Inn. Just outside of Muskogee, Canada. <laughs> Wax Records, I love it. Wax Records. <laughs> vinyl, by the way. Vinyl. It's vinyl. It's vinyl, dude. Vinyl, yeah, damn it. You knew that. Well, no, I know, I know pressure, he's saying, nobody, I know he's saying, pressure. you got to get that, uh, listen, Calling fucking the homies would be easy. like, yo, that's a hot track, we got to get that shit on wax, keep it on wax, yep. I understand why I'd say that, it's just not a piece of wax, it would melt on a hot day on your record player. <laughs> <laughs> you and your wax collector have to move to fucking Alaska. He goes, what do you, what do you keep the room temperature in here? He goes... Uh, he goes seventy five. He goes. Nah, I was gonna put on. I was gonna put on the Commodores, but I don't want to melt my album. <laughs> I tried it's to do. Hot, yeah. I tried to do Pyramid with him, where it was like not brother. Chemical Brothers was, and I don't know how to do Chemicals. <laughs> I have no idea. Do you know anything about the Chemical Brothers? Uh, no. That's why I was trying to like go with the ones we haven't done yet. I would have skipped it. Yeah. Well, if I knew he was going to say it's fun to stay at the Holiday Inn. I would have been like, <laughs> hey, this is the Mariah Carey song, Clint, that starts with Old Dirty Bastard going, come on, baby, baby, come on, baby, baby, come on. Clint? I know, I've heard that song, but I don't remember the name of it right now. Fantasy. <laughs> would you have gotten that, Christine? Yeah. I'll tell you what, Christine turns on me quick. Uh, Clint, thanks for the call, brother. Thanks a lot, man. Um, absolutely. Take care of yourself. And uh, I do want to talk about, we, we were talking about this yesterday, Mike. You what? remember this cool, the uh, the Hungerthon that they're doing here at Sirius. Uh, tomorrow, right? Done tomorrow? I think yeah, I saw it on Instagram that Bennington now. said that. that Jacob, your thoughts? I think it's great. Uh, there's a lot of stuff you should uh, Pop these niggas you like can do a lot of DJing. Nigga, there's a lot of other stuff that you, know, the belly and <laughs> that you can buy, <laughs> that you can bid on. It's really cool. And, uh, I wish we would have known a little earlier. It would have been good to have somebody bid on a bonfire sitting in on the bonfire. Yeah. I mean, we give that away for free nonstop. Yeah. Little we know we could be helping hungry people. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, you have to help Sirius XM in the fight to end hunger. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't want to set lofty expectations. 
Sirius XM single-handedly is not going to end hunger. No. But we can help some hungry people. With the Hungerthon, the Why Hunger annual Hungerthon donation drive. You go to SiriusXM.com slash Hungerthon, and you can see a bunch of items you can bid on now. Uh, one of them, I would say, being a sitting-in with uh, Gail and Ronnie, Ronnie B. Uh, but, uh, and Chris Stanley in the is. group on... It was one of the highest ones right now, but uh, just an amazing experience to watch that guy. Uh, do what he does, man. It's radio, best. He, he he does radio. He's a master at it, and it's just one of the funniest, quickest human beings ever. If you get a chance to win that or, or even bid on that, fantastic. Mm-hmm. Beyond that, I saw things on there. You get to go to a circle jerk with DJ Lou, um, <laughs> Pearl Jam. <laughs> you get to go. Jacob, Jacob will flying sixty nine years. Have lunch with Marky Ramon. That's yeah. still hilarious. That's still my favorite one. Yo, you want to be annoyed by annoyed by Marky Ramon for two hours? <laughs> two hot passes to the Daytona five hundred. Yeah, that's big. That's, a big one. that's good. You can take Jacob oh, if you well. win that. Oh, whoa, 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 that, whoa, that one's at almost ten grand. What is guest DJ on Sirius XM's Big Eighties on eight? Well, I hope they're ready to cut those fucking in and outs and just go home as somewhere in the middle of the day because they're <laughs> look looking. To, guitar. If they're looking to run an hour long shift, it don't exist. <laughs> look at look at a signed guitar by Sean Ono Lennon, seven hundred and fifty bucks. That's Nobody hilarious. Wants a the guitar, guitar costs more than that's, that. It's that's an expensive guitar. That's really hilarious. But they'd rather play fucking Hey Sean Mickey. He goes, I'll, I'll pay a thousand for that. He goes, dude, Sean Ono, uh, Sean Ono <laughs> Lennon signed. He goes, you couldn't pay I'll me. I'll give you like 700 then. <laughs> <laughs> Will it come <laughs> off? He goes, goes, come goes, off. Will it come off? <laughs> it's written in invisible Attend ink. Attend a recording of you can stand uh, up with Pete. You can Greco Roman wrestle. Bucks. You can Greco Roman wrestle Pete Dominic. Four hundred bids at four hundred. That's up to four hundred <laughs> smackers. <laughs> Is that less than the guitar? And uh, he will also give you top position. There you says. go. That's in parentheses, everyone. I don't know if you know. Before you before you don't throw a bid on that, just let you know you can get top position. You can get dominant position in this. You don't have to win it. Um, Pearl Jam Radio. What can you do on that? Stage dive. Guest DJ. Be awesome. Guest DJ. I don't know what this guest Tour DJ. The studios. Yeah, but what? Yeah, what does that mean though? Guest DJ. Is it DJ a fair? Lou? Or should we give him a fair sell? Because I want people to bid on this. I think it's a good yeah. cause. I'm just saying. I think if you believe you're going to be like, uh, hey, we're taking a call from Matthew in Las Vegas. What do you want to hear, Matthew? And he's going to go, oh man, Warren's cherry pie. Because I got this uh, slut doing coke off my dick in my Camaro. Uh, can you play some what? cherry pie? And then you go, buddy, cherry pie coming right up. And then he points to a guy who puts it in the cart and cranks cherry pie. It's not what happened. What's going to happen is he's going to go, hey, my name's uh, Jerry, and this is a cherry pie. There you go, Mikey. Two tickets. And then they're going to go, and then you're going to go, all right, now do the end. And he goes, that was cherry pie. And they go, all right, what's the next song? <laughs> talk Dirty Me by Poison. <laughs> Everyone, Talk Dirty Me by Poison. Hope you guys enjoyed Talk Dirty Me by Poison. Now, co-host a Sirius XM show with Jenny McCarthy. Now, there you go. Oh, now you're getting God. the stalker range of her. Yeah. And that's something that money cannot buy. Getting that close to uh, a woman, I hope they have security for her. That's, that's going to be a weird <laughs> thing. That's one of my first You've literally told me a price you can get her next You can get next to her for a couple hours. That's the Ooh, best. Ooh, Hoda's going high. Really? The Beatles are up there, too. I said you can meet with Johnny Mathis, but I figure that's like escort rules. Like I know you're paying for his time, but you're yeah. going to fuck. You get Johnny Mathis in front of you, you're not going to fuck him? <laughs> Christine, you, just, you don't even know who Johnny Mathis is, and you'd still get wet when he goes, You just walk my way. Just cuck Johnny Mathis. And a thousand violins <laughs> begin to play. Oh, Yorma Kakonin signed guitars at 950. And Jason L. also do gay stuff with you. This is a good thing. There is a lot That's of cool stuff. That's not what's for charity. What is it? This is really uh Oh, you can hang out with them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, dude, these are skateboard guys. They're going to do something gay. <laughs> Do you even watch Jackass? I like the Johnny Marr guitar. <sighs> yeah, that one in the middle is pretty great. The one signed by Dave, Dave Davies. Davies. That's not bad. Great. Dude, people should totally do this. Yeah. I'll tell you what. There's a gro- lot of cool stuff. Growing up, all I wanted to do was be a, like an FM radio DJ on 99 Rock WPLR in New Haven. And then I found out you just go in and hit a button and all the songs are already picked. You Fucking can go. You, you can get two tickets in round, fair, uh, round trip airfare and accommodations. To two tickets uh, to see Mumford and Sons, weirdly enough. Boring. Not bad, you lame. What, what was that one down there? You get an autographed uh, Diplo hoodie? Who's that guy in the middle? Yeah, you see Diplo with two passes to each day of the Snow Globe Music Fest. And let's be honest, that's going to suck. Yeah, it's <laughs> <awfully> tough. <laughs> let's just call a spade a spade here and say, 
No one's excited to give a lot of money for that. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, the bid's three hundred and seventy-five dollars. That doesn't even cover fucking uh, <laughs> anything. That's like two hot chocolates in Tahoe. Look at this. That's a weird gift. Um, Autograph Michael Smith tenth anniversary script. Hillsong hand designed van sneakers. That's kind of neat. I guess. Well, if you're into that, you're into that. I guess. Go up. Those are some ugly sneakers, man. Down, Christine. You said up. Uh, the screen goes up. Steve Winwood autographed Piano Bench. Oh, I wonder what the Grateful Dead one is. Now we're back. Hang on. You can uh, guess DJ on Lithium. Go, keep going down. <laughs> oh. Any station of your choice on Lithium. You can get the Garth Brooks Anthology live autographed by Garth Brooks. You can guess DJ on Sirius XM. Grateful Dead channel. You could talk to the guy who runs the kingdom on Walking Dead. <laughs> oh, no. Who's that? Mark Thompson? Okay. Uh, you could challenge the king for supremacy of the kingdom. You can meet Kenny Chesney with two tickets to his Songs for the Saints tour. Dan. So if you wanted to meet Jay. Kenny Chesney. Bottom right, Jay. Bottom right. A Fender Squire Stratocaster electric guitar signed by Trey Anastasio Fish. That's what I want. Oh, well, I'll bid on it, dude. Yeah. How much do I have to bid? It's okay. 900 right now. No. Uh, yeah. I don't want it that bad. Just so you know how much no one gives a shit about fish, Mike. What? That's going for $900. If you want to hang out and do gay shit with Jason Ellis, already up to four grand. <laughs> <laughs> Facts. Jason Ellis moves Fine. ticks. Jason Ellis is more fun than fish, I bet. <laughs> I do like Jason Ellis a lot. Um, I like the Greco-Roman Pete Dominic. Yep. Smoke Wee with Willie Nelson. Marky Ramone. Marky fucking, Ramone fight you in an underground a, tournament. Split a two and a melt at the <laughs> Neptune. Bruce Springsteen will hang at your house. Am I going through these too fast? Ronnie and Gale. That's the one to go for, everybody. Hang out with Ronnie and Gale. You and Mike Terry can do Nashville Studios Prime 30. Uh, you could hang out with Jim and Sam in the morning show. That's a really cool, uh, cool prize. It's an early morning, too. They are really... I like to ask us to read this, and we're giving them a 25-minute commercial for it, and Never. nothing of our things even fucking in there. This company doesn't give two fucks about us. What do these guys work for the Ninth Precinct? Am I right, Lou? <laughs> Am I right, Lou? Let's take our second break so we can get all the ad reads in. We'll come back. We'll talk. We'll see. We'll go through our guesses on this Hall of Fame thing and see what it's going to be. I uh, hope you're having fun with us. I'm having fun. Mike Fanoy is here. America's Amigo. It's just a loose Tuesday. We're getting ready to go see some mellow banjo rock. I'm going to finger Christine during it. Oh. Hey, he's going to finger me. Hey. Oh. We'll see how oh. sensitive I get. You came on my gloves. I wiped <laughs> it on your face. You got your squirt on my gloves. <laughs> um, we'll be right back at the bonfire. And now, back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. <laughs> yeah, want to get the aftershock? <sighs> want to fuck? Get it out. Um, Get it out. It's the Bonfire Comedy Central Radio Series XM 95. Big Joe Okerson, Dan Soder, off doing billions today, and of it's course, headline headlining the tonight at the Comedy Cellar. Uh, that is comedycellar.com for tickets. Go support Dan, him, Shane Gillis, headlining at the original Comedy Cellar. The main room. There. That's a pretty very, neat place very, to very, very, very rare. What else does Dan have coming up, Christine? I want to give Dan his plugs here real quick. Oh, he's going to be at the Funny Bone in Albany. It's going to look a little funnier. Mm, uh, at the fun. Funny Bone, Albany, this December 13th to the 15th. Get tickets for that in all Dan shows, dansoder.com. Also, check out uh, Dan's half hour on Netflix also as part of the stand-ups. And always check out both of our specials on Comedy Central on iTunes. I have my special as part of the Degenerates on Netflix available right now. Uh, I'm going to be at Dead Crow Comedy this weekend. Mm -hmm. Wilmington, North Carolina. It's going to be dope. Um, and then Uncle Vinny's in Point Pleasant, New Jersey the weekend after that. Uh, that's the 20th through the 22nd. Get tickets for that and, big, and all my shows. Big news. At BigJComedy.com. I'll, I'll be with you at Uncle Vinny's. It's a yeah, it's fish? Yeah. Hell yeah. Let me give my five. Okay. For the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and then I want to take because a few more people call and they want to play the game. I, I just went and looked up a pop culture list 
uh, through the years pop culture list, and I'll just nail and it. And what what a lot of people don't know is when we're I feel like I got it. Though. I feel like I send the vibes. If you don't get it, I feel it's your fault. When we're on the road, we play a lot of games. We a kill games. a lot of time with a lot of games. My whole life, me and my step pop. That yep. was a real. We used to invent games. Me and my step pop. Yeah, just play them. I mean, one of our favorites was still. Each one stood at the end, about three, four feet off the end, the coffee table. We'd be on the short sides. Okay. Each. I'd be in a chair sitting on a ball or something, and my step would be on the love seat over there. And with one of my little brother's, like, plastic, you know, $1 balls you get out of the bin at the grocery store, mm-hmm. and one of his slippery, thin books that he would look at on the coffee table, and it was with the ball who could get the the book it was like football yeah remember paper football paper but, football but you'd have to hit the ball into the book but you're ultimately trying to get the book to be hanging off a wow. little off the edge of the table that's such a homemade game you know and you run your finger you run your finger along the edge of the table to see if it crossed the plane <laughs> yeah, that's fucking awesome hours my dad and I waiting used to... for my brother to go to sleep so we could watch night court we would play a game where we would look at someone and go this is if this person and that person had a baby you know what I mean? So we'd like look at strangers and be like, that looks like if Betty White and your Aunt Carol had a baby. What was the game called? Hack comedy? Yeah. Hello. It was get ready to be uncle humor <laughs> at, as, yeah. as a teenager. It was called Noogie Head. <laughs> um, <laughs> let, me see, let me see the list, Christine, of the people again. Happy birthday to Shane Gillis, too, oh, by the way. Of course. Of course. This is, uh, Shane Gillis himself. Everyone loves him here. At the bonfire and the campers, uh, give your love to Shane Gillis on his birthday. Um, he will be working tonight with Pam at the Comedy Cellar. Uh, make this list big. I'm going to go Def Leppard. Yeah. How long are they eligible since? A long time. That's a bad question. That's a long time. Twenty. What is it? Twenty years? Twenty years from your first album? I think is what I it is. Right. Twenty five. Twenty five. I think. Twenty five. Yeah. yeah. So still long time. Wrong time. So yeah, I'm going to go Def Leppard. LL Cool J. Mm. Are are you thinking what's going to get in or what you want? I think what's going to get in. Right. I might go back. I might go back to Janet Jackson. I I don't think so. I think Def Leppard, LL Cool J, MC Five. There's always one that you're going to be like, oh really? Them? Yeah. (laughs) I mean, because like that's how the zombies end up getting. Exactly. Now they've been eligible for 30 years. Yeah, that was the one. That's why I picked them. Um, Do you want to see their eligibilities? No, 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 no. I'm just going to take a pick here so we have fun. Def Leppard, LL Cool J, MC5, Ray. I don't think it's going to be Ray. I think Tom Morello is not going to make sure they get in. Who, Radiohead or Rage? Rage. I think Radiohead will get it. What are we at so far? How you many have do four. I have? I have four already? Mm-hmm. Jesus Christ. Well, it's and an the, easy one. And the yeah, yeah. The zombies. Fuck these niggas like a willy nigga. You a silly nigga. Batachi six. Batachi uh. five four. Are you thinking? Uh, yeah, I think I agree with Jacob that that. I think I overlooked one. The cure. Yeah, I think yeah. they're gonna get in. I think that's a lock. that's gonna, that's the zombie one for me too. It's that like. <clears throat> All right, so what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do the zombies. Rage. No. The Zombies, Radiohead, MC5, LL Cool J, Def Leppard. We have four of the five same picks. Mm, all right. While we <laughs> while we find out where that's at, and we'll let everybody else like figure out theirs. If anybody has an opinion here, I'm not sure if anyone has, but let me uh, mm. let me play this with some people. I'm going to talk to my buddy Rod here in San Francisco <laughs> first, and I'll tell you, Rod, we did his show. Rod, are you there, buddy? Yeah, man. Crackle, crackle. What's up, fellas? Crackle, crackle. What dude. up, dude? Um, Rod, awesome guy. We did his show, uh, his radio show and podcast out in San Francisco, and me and Mike were out there uh, blessing the Golden State. That's right. As we pissing said. off the bridge. Yeah. <laughs> pissing off the I, I bridge. I do appreciate it, fellas. Thank you. Thank uh, you. Son. No, thank you so much here. It says you want to play the game, the password game. 
Yeah, man, no doubt, no doubt. I, I do want to say, man, I love you guys. I've been loving you guys from the beginning, man. And, and like I told y'all when, when y'all were, uh, were uh, in San Francisco, you guys are a beautiful, dysfunctional family that came together, man. And don't let anybody tell you that your show's not gold, man. It is no matter what any suit says or anybody, you guys are doing a great job. And all of you guys, Lou, Christine, both Lou's, Jacob, you guys are just so awesome, man. And Fenoya, you're top notch too, man. Thank you so much for Thanks, all the love and support. We love you. That's a love. That's a, that's how you get love from DJ Lou. Really appreciate it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right on, man. I told Christina when we came back. I said, "Yeah," he said, but it was he was such a nice compliment that he's like he loves what we're doing. Yeah, that was the end of the day of doing press too. So it was really cool to hang with him. Um, oh man, I couldn't tell that was the end of your press run, man. You got you guys are just so gracious with your time, man. I so appreciate it. And like I said, man, I'm a big fan from the beginning since the Blonde Huey days. I just want to be the West Coast camp counselor out here in the Golden State. Hell yeah, hold it down. I like <laughs> <That's> it. <awesome. laughs> let's uh, let's try to play this game, Rod. I think we could do it. <clears throat> right on. Let's go. We got 40 seconds. I'll say when we start. I guess uh, DJ Lil will say when we start. And then we're going to fight. This is just pop culture stuff. Movies, music, whatever. Just stuff. Hit it, dudes. <laughs> All right. Uh, it's the movie about the Jews. Like, the one. Schindler's List. No, 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 no. The, uh, you know, about the actual Bible Jews. Oh, uh, oh the Bible Jews. Uh, 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 pass, pass. All right. Now the other one about the Jews. <laughs> yes. Um, uh, Ten Commandments is the first one. Yes. Um, he was the, the, the one of the best late night television hosts of all time. Gap in the teeth. Yes. Uh, everyone loves this cartoon. It's before Family Guy and everything. It was the, the original. Uh, before Family Guy, uh, the Simpsons. Yes. No, 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 no. Yes. 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 Simpsons. Simpsons for sure. How do we do? We got everyone Four. we tried, though. Four? Four. Pretty good. Wow, that's fantastic, Rod. The Four. movie about the Jews. Uh, and by the way, ta uh, Rod is a, uh, a tall black gentleman, so the fact that he got two Jew movies, pretty impressive. Yeah. Well, pretty I, mean, impressive. You know, I, I, I do want to say this. I feel like I have so much in common with you guys, because, uh, like, DJ Lou, I love Pearl Jam. I just saw them in Seattle in August, that second show. Black Lou, I'm married to a white girl. She's not She's Jewish, not. but I am married to a white girl. <laughs> Jacob, Jacob, I love NASCAR. Jimmy Johnson's my favorite driver. I got to, I go to the Sonoma race every year, so I got the hookup if you want to come. Oh, and Christine, really? I had a buddy, I had a buddy who lived in Hermosa, and so I spent summers there. He's like at, right at 19th in Hermosa, so I love that place. Wow. Jay, like I told you, I you know I I got a Gary too, you know, just like you and Soder. So Hell I mean, yeah. I just I feel like every day I listen to you guys, I'm listening to like family on the real, dude. I want to be a jealous boyfriend that goes like, so well, Christine, you know this Rod guy now? <laughs> I know, I see that from us. You ever hit up the green store? <laughs> Get a little too oh, close to the family hey, first. No. <laughs> goes, oh, wait a second here, um, Rod, dude. Thank you so much, man. I we really do appreciate the love, man. It's cool to know and and, and uh, plug all your stuff. Plug the show. Your your shows and everything. Oh, uh, hey man, I appreciate it. KNBR Radio in San Francisco. I do a show with Bob Fitzgerald. He's a play-by-play voice of the Warriors. We've been doing it for 17 years now. Uh, one to three out on the West Coast. I do a podcast called Friend of the Show, where I talk to comedians about being a sports fan. That's why we had Jay and, and, and Mikey Fenoich in there. And that, I, I'm going to drop that episode probably after the, the New Year, so I can promote it. But I've done stuff with Roy Wood. I know Soder a little bit through Al Madrigal, and I had Madrigal on the podcast. So I don't want to take up much of y'all time, man. I just love you guys, and you guys are just just good people doing doing good radio, man. Just, oh, just thank that. you, man. Thank you so much, Rob. Happy What's holidays, up? amigo. Hey, man, same to all you guys, man. All you guys. Take care. Now, uh, let's see here, because we, we have two more people that want to play the game. Do that 40 seconds apiece, but we got to take these, because uh, one... I've never turned down a phone call from Stephanie Falcone. Oh, yeah. Um, that's She's going to nail it. we have it. one more. Uh, we have Shannon from Boston who's going to play. But well, let's get Falcone here to uh, Stephanie. Hi, guys. Hey, Steph. How's married life treating you? You doing butt stuff yet? <laughs> no. Oh, my God. Do you even want to keep this guy or what? You got a new house and you haven't even christened it yet? Yeah. We don't even live in it yet. Oh, still? That's why you got to go now. House. What a nightmare. How's the dog? She's good. She's not, but she's good. Good. Well, here's the good news. Me and you are about to take it to the house. 
Let's do it, Jay. Um, I feel good about this. Me and Falcone, she gets my references. Yeah, I, I would, I would pick that. her as a partner. Oh, I was you. You're a cause of reference. I was all in earlier. Yeah, I she's right. Yeah, you wrote. She wrote in that Rudy gave uh, Stevie Wonder a giraffe in that episode. True. I think or was Stephanie grew up right. She made a weird noise. That was her sample. <laughs> her weird, yeah. Rob, that was my favorite. Robert. <laughs> Robert. All right. <laughs> all right, DJ Lou, let us know we're ready to go. Jamming on the one. All right. Uh, this is that dumb movie Tim Burton made about uh, the holidays, Christmas. Christmas. Yes. Uh, oh, this is that movie where, uh, what's it, Brad Pitt, they find the fat guy face down on the bowl of stuff. He was fat, and that was uh, his that- sin. Yes. Uh, this is the serial where the leprechaun comes and does something Lucky to time. you. Yes. Uh, not Garfunkel, but... Simon. Yes. Um, mm. Oh, yeah, you remember this? The stupid girl moves the football away and the bald kid misses Charlie it. Brown, yes. Um, this is what no one believes in anymore in this country. That we... we it's a document. <laughs> the Constitution. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was the Constitution. <laughs> this is what no one believes in anymore. <laughs> you fucking, you get, it's hilarious. Oh, you know, Brad Pitt finds a fat guy in a bowl of stuff. <laughs> yeah. He's like, his sin was being fat. <laughs> here's, what's, here's why this game we might have just struck come a radio gold, perhaps. And the people speak to let us know if they don't like this. The thing is, I... Uh, genuinely explain things like that. Now you do. So yeah. you happen to see, can you, the question isn't do you know these things, it's can you call upon them when I'm giving you clues as read by what a lot of experts would call as a moron. <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving you the best I can uh, of my information that I have. So I'm doing, uh, I'm, I feel like I lost my list already. You knew Steph would be good at it. Oh, yeah, for sure. She fired away. Stephanie, we love you. Married Life's treating you good. Let us know if he puts his hands on you. We'll step in. Fuck him up. I will let you know. Also, Uh, I sent a holiday gift out to you guys that should be there this week, so keep an eye out for that. Full full body nudes now? Providence cocaine? (laughs) Providence cocaine? (laughs) All of these things are okay. Um, We love you. Thank you so much, and we'll shout you out, of course, obviously, when it gets here. Stephanie Falcone, everybody. Head in, in, mm-hmm. in between, can mm-hmm. we can we get uh, Jacob's dying to do his his picks? I want to hear these picks. Yeah, we'll go to the picks. Then we'll take our last break. I know we have to do that, and then we'll take uh, Shannon Boston's last person's going to play the game today. Um, Jacob, your picks, please. I know you put a lot of thought in this. Like Willie- can I stop doing this for now? No, no, no. no. <laughs> please. I mean, particularly on this part. You heard him, Jacob. Uh, fine. Uh, all right. So my first one is uh, Def Leppard. Radiohead, <laughs> The Cure, uh, easy. my last two are the ones that I'm on the fence on, but I picked Rage Against the Machine and LL Cool J. Okay. Nobody thinks Stevie uh, Nicks? No, because she's solo. She's in with Fleetwood Mac. Don't make her hang in there. Don't make her hang in there. Fuck yourself, Mike. I love her. <laughs> I name, love me, her. name me all of Stevie Nicks's singles. Well, you're asking the wrong person. She she knows all of Stevie Nicks's singles. I don't know. Sing- I don't know. Though. I can singles. name a bunch. Want me to name I did solo. have the, I did have the in- Enchanted box yeah. set. Um, Edge of 17. Is Quit Dragging My Heart Around her song or Tom yeah, Petty's? It's her and Tom Petty, but like it's not. that would be her. Um... Which McCall? Uh, Outside the rain, after the glitter fades, wild heart. Oh, you're reading. She stand reading. back. She's reading and she's not. Stand, yeah, stand back. back okay. Everybody knows. What's the name of this one? Uh, leather and lace. Leather and lace. And I'm putting this against like a the other bodies of work. Like Def Leppard's got albums. They've got great bodies of work. Yeah, but Kraftwerk has that 20 minute uh, xylophone down a flight of stairs solo. All right, do we have uh, Jacobs? Uh, noted? Yeah. Okay. I don't think... Wait, no, I'm sorry. Uh, what was the last one? <laughs> the L.O. Cool J. L.O. Cool J. This would be a boring... For deepest, bluest, alone. This would be such a boring <laughs> fucking concert, going to this nom- nomination. Unless it was like Radiohead, Cool J, Rage... Well, it depends who it could... Todd it could, Rundgren. It, it could go pretty boring, possibly. Very boring. Uh, we'll see what happens. Let's take our last break, and we'll come right back and take this thing... All the way to 8 p.m. where me and Christine go full granola. We'll be right back. Fucking dorks. Bonfire. And now, back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. 
mountain bikes. This Red. music always does end in some sort of a blood orgy, though, somewhere in the Hollywood Hills, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. it's I mean, this is like Manson family recruiting, recruiting music. It really is. You want it all? You want to live in a van? Smells don't matter anymore in your world, baby girl. Um, it's a bonfire. Comedy Central Radio Sirius XM 95. These days have been going by fast. It's I'm Big Joe, and that's Mike Fenoya, uh, Dan Soder. Off doing his thing. Go check him out tonight. Actually, if you are listening to this now, you're blowing it pretty hard. You've already missed Shane. Yes. Or you have unlimited data, and you're walking down Or you're being Google. really shitty during the show. Show sold out, then. <laughs> sold out? Mm-hmm. Fan. F Dude, how fires. fucking cool it's been running into Bonfire fans on the road past couple weeks. It's so goddamn cool. It's really great, man. Yeah. Going out a- to the shows and like series, like people just, it, it really is awesome. Jump I love the level, coming man. on the show. Jump the level, man. I love coming on the show and I know it. that it's like, you know, y- y- you and you and Dan fucking kill it. But when I can come and hang, man, I, I just love it because it really translates to being out on the road. Well, and people I, fucking come to shows and they're they're so fucking happy to see us. I love the the fans of this show and all the shows and all the comedy and the third outside venue that I went into and produced at. There are a lot of campers at Lewis's special. Mm-hmm. I had the owner come up to me and just say like, "Wow, what a great group of people you guys brought in! Like these, everybody's awesome." And every time I produce at a venue, I hear about how awesome our fan base is. And it's just great. This song's turning us into fucking hippies. This is like a nitrous balloon of fucking no, turning. Man. Us no, into hippies. <laughs> We're like two of the biggest hippies. <laughs> I just love life, man. We got real love in here, and I dig that. I dig that, man. Oh, <laughs> you know I dig that. I wonder if anybody realized that they, they saw that Fucking on the Late Show DJ, in San Francisco. DJ Lou got a herpy from Free Love. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> free love, man. It's all about the love. Alexander. What's that on your pussy? I'm gonna kiss it. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> oh, you got a boo boo on your pussy? Let me kiss it. <laughs> she was like, no, 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 no. <sighs> and he's kissing it. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. What's it, a little boo boo? It's like a little nipple. <laughs> he was like, give me your number. She was like, yeah, sure. Five, five, five. <laughs> Five, two, one, two, five, two, five. Two, two, two. I got an answering machine that will talk to you. Hey, whoever. He's like, hey, is this your machine? You gave me a herpy. <laughs> <laughs> it's called a cold sore, guys. I know it's Aww. called a cold sore. But everyone always hits you with the technical. That's a her. Herpy one. I've gotten herpy a cold sore. One. I've gotten one in my life. Me too. Yeah. I had a girl... Not with that kind of ferocity. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I'm the, I don't let... Prostitute sit on my face. I and t- by the way, I'm not saying that I wouldn't. I'm saying I'll put my face in a prostitute's ass and puss. I just got to control the, I got to control the peck. You know what I mean? <laughs> you're letting them get. You're letting them cast a wide net right across your chops, dude. You want to more like conch shell it? Yeah, yeah. I, I lean into it. I go in. I play the. I go to the instrument. You know what I'm saying? You don't bring your head to the fork. You bring the fork to you. <laughs> <laughs> you don't move your head when you brush your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> you don't hold a toothbrush and start checking your head around. <laughs> oh my god, Lou! I don't know if that thing breaks at all, oh, but me and Christine, me and Christine got uh, baked last night and went into a hole of Doctor Pimple Popper videos. Oh, fuck mm-hmm. those! But we watched like a twenty, we watched twenty five minute videos about a, a cyst being opened up. It's Pretty fucking crazy. I had we talked about this. I think I had the pilonidal cyst. Do you know what? Remember what that? It's I had that too. Pilonidal cyst is a top of your ass crack. Top of your ass crack. It's Sucks. a it's a hair follicle that gets infected, mm-hmm. and it just turns into this fucking painful bump that you can't sit. And what's in it stinks. It's, I still I still have it. You I do? still have it in my body. Yeah. I, I got it surgically removed. I didn't. Oh. They you just do what it. I got is no. What they did with me is they sliced it at one point. Uh, no, but they sliced the wrong spot, so not really anything came out, and they ended up uh, just letting me go. But the hole she made, whenever it would kind of get inflamed again, it would like that hole like stopped it from happening. Oh it god, weird. It was she, the was, worst. she almost made a preventative thing. They, they put like a drain in your my ass. extra asshole. Yeah, and you have to lay on your belly for like three days. Yep, right? it's yep. a whole thing. And you got to have someone that loves you clean the fucking wound and pack yeah. it. Yeah. Oh my yeah. God. Well, we didn't get there, thank God. Yeah. Um. That's fun. Should we find out who the top five are and have a discussion, or should I take Shannon and let Shannon play this game? Take Shannon, you think? All right. Shannon. I want to make sure we get her in here. Uh, Shannon. 
Shannon in Boston. Hey, how's it going, guys? Hi. Hi, Shannon. How are you? <laughs> um, pleasure to talk to you. Are you ready to see if we can nail this thing? Yes, I am. I am ready. I was much cockier before I called in, but I'm still feeling confident. <laughs> no, you're absolutely fine. Wait, Quark, I seem to have lost my list for some reason. Quark, how sh can I ask Shannon? How old are you? Thirty-six. Oh, you're gonna do great. <laughs> There's something just and about. I went, and I went to school for like radio and film and bullshit. So, but there's something about our I generation did. that like we just know a lot of really cool but meaningless shit. You know? Wait, how old are you? Um, thirty-six. I'm thirty-six. 36? <laughs> Perfect. We're gonna get this. Internet, internet <laughs> kids so. don't get it. Um, <laughs> and I'd say, let me know when you're ready. Are you ready, Shannon? I'm I'm ready. As ready as she's ever going to be. Lou, you tell us when to start. Start. Um, this is a movie. Oh, man. There's another one, too. Gay people love this. It's Julie Andrews and a bunch of kids, and they're dancing around. The hills are alive with it. Oh, Sound of Music. Yes. It's Not Easy Being Green, sang by... Kermit the Frog. Yes. That stupid sign that's in California that everybody tries to jump off of or take a picture with, and they believe it's going to be big time dreams, but usually it's just like a meth addiction. Hollywood sign. Yes. <laughs> um, a lot of people think he's gay. He's definitely bald. Captain Kirk. Oh, uh, William Shatner. Yes. Uh, what's the? It looks like her panties smell, but she does Broadway stuff. <laughs> she was in movies too. Big honker. Catherine Keener. No. Are we up? Oh. Bette Midler? It's Bette Midler. It was Bette Midler. Oh. You, got it. you got me with... Panty smell? <laughs> Bette Midler's like a panty smell, yeah. <laughs> does she? It does. Yeah, I think like so. Like what, French onion soup? I don't know what. Just like, you know, like they were damp at one point. Sauerkraut? Yeah, crowdy. Crowdy. <laughs> crowdy onions. <laughs> uh, we did pretty good, though. How much? How do we do? She got four. Four. That's great. Try. Uh Fantastic job, Shannon. What do you have to do the rest of the day? Do you get to wear this victory around proudly? Oh, yeah, for sure. The boyfriend just got home, so he doesn't need to know I called in so I can rub it in his face. Oh, I mean, really just give him a good backhand with it. Oh, will, will do. Straighten his ass out. You're a Boston gal. You don't take no shit. Oh, no, no. I do the beating. What's your dad's first name? Chris. You're Chris's fucking kid. That's you don't Chris's take no baby. shit from no fucking man. Chris's baby? Chris's baby. <laughs> Who do you think is going to make it into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? I would love to see Radiohead. I think, like, I've always followed Radiohead, and I think our age range has probably been there for a lot of it, and I would love to see them in. Um, other than that, I haven't... I mean, I listened to Stern Bitch about it, but I haven't followed it closely enough to have a full ranking. Not yeah. a big Kraftwerk fan in Boston. Not a big Kraftwerk fan. Uh, Kraft, <laughs> Kraftwerk, Kraftwerk did a lot, like, brought in a lot of people. It was an influence for a lot of people, but it is, like, kind of Gleep Glorp kind of not my kind of music you could say kraut rock no gleep glorp kraut is rock. good gleep glorp she was giving you the actual genre for for, for <laughs> yeah gleep, gleep glorp <laughs> gleep glorp music gleep you glorp. know <laughs> if you ever decide to go to space in a tin a can you made <laughs> um oh yeah for sure shannon thank you so much for your call yeah and thank you guys. for listening and we all love like seeing you guys at shows because you guys are all so awesome like every time we go you're so nice to us everyone's so approachable and so it's it's so much about you guys too. Like you have great fans because you guys are great people. Oh, so, thank you so much. Jesus I figure Christ. I'd suck your dick on the way out. To Thanks, Shannon. <laughs> I appreciate you sucking my dick. That was really um, nice. You sucked I, two dicks uh, at once there. Thank you, Shannon. Um, <laughs> but also, rub that in your boyfriend's face. I just got. I just uh, accepted. I think my dates for I don't know what they are off the top of my head, but I'm, I'm coming back to Boston. Laugh Boston for sure. Remember when we were there and I go, what is there, a baby festival here? And that lady goes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> By the way, <laughs> baby festival. Did baby you guys hear uh, Shannon like clam up when I said that? No pun intended, Boston. Clam. You hear her clam up when I uh, I said I'm going to be coming, I have dates to come back there. And I thought she was going to get all excited. But I think now she was like, wait, do I got to pay off that dick suck thing I said before? You don't, Shannon. I'm just a person making jokes up here. Come see the show. You don't have to suck anyone's dick. But I do want to watch you hit your boyfriend. I'll smoke you up like usual. Hell yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> thank you so much for the call, Shannon. Enjoy the rest of your day. Um, Mwah. Ciao, baby. Do we have the final results here of who's winning yeah. the battle, right? 
of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Well, it's the it's fan vote results. So they have the top five, and the way it works is that uh, everybody in the top five receives an additional vote as part of the ballot. How many okay. people vote? Is it like it, it's the it's the committee, right? The committee is the, the eventual decider. Yeah, Jan, whatever. Yeah, Jan Winner. Jan Winner and uh, Tom Morello, and then whoever the other three are. But do this, does, does the public? Little Steven. Does the public have any fucking say at all? There's fan vote, yeah, and then the top five, each one gets like a, an extra vote, an extra all around vote. I'm trying to find out how many people are on the committee. Yeah. Well, let's see what the actual. I want to see the actual. We only have like a few minutes left here. I want to see what the actual. Who's winning this? Some bitch. These are fan votes right here. Def Leppard, Stevie Nicks, Todd Rundgren, The Zombies, and The Cure. Wow. Stevie Nicks, Christine. That's not going to be how it comes out. Not at all. I would say out of those, Def Leppard and The Cure. I'm pretty proud of Def Leppard. Given Def Leppard is a, I mean, a joke band. This if you're not if you don't like Def Leppard. Which I, Actually, I even do like Def Leppard, yeah. and they're still sort of a... Joke band's the wrong word. I don't want to even be that disrespectful for music that I like. But it's dated. It's very timely music. It doesn't hold up all very well. But some does. I fucking, Their early, early shit holds up good, like from High and Dry and yeah. uh, Pyromania. But like once you get to like Pour Some Sugar On Me, was that a I hysteria? There's good songs on Hysteria, Steve. but like it's overall, it's an 80s album. Women! The jerk offs. I Look fucking hate Def Leppard. Don't you say that. Offs. Def Leppard are twenty times the band Pearl Jam is, and you've oh. always known that, Lou. You've Lou, I got your that. back on this one. Def you've Leppard can that. suck a dick. Love bites. Love, love bites. I hate that them. Album was so big. Wait, Lou, stop that music. Really stop that music, Lou. Stop that music. Hang on. This is my this is shit that scares me. Hang on, Lou. Stop that music. Is somebody? Is somebody hurting a lady out there? Shut up, Eddie. Is it? Yeah, what? probably, Eddie. It's only. It's mostly women here. Sing even flow, you fag. Oh, hey, somebody getting. I saw that girl. I couldn't tell if somebody ripped her arm off or if she was just wearing a flannel shirt over her flannel shirt. <laughs> Shut up. It's my girlfriend, bro. Wait, stop the song. <laughs> Everybody, I want to take a minute to talk about hunger. <laughs> Striking for it. Thank y'all. Wait, stop, 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 stop. Get your fingers out of that child. <laughs> Get your fingers out of that child. Make that guy leave. I love that Eddie Vedder now is fucking from Nashville in the 50s. Oh, hey, everybody. It's me, Eddie Vedder. Hey, <laughs> Bubba. You know how things get, big baby Bubba. <laughs> this is called 10, Bubba. Looks like I'm going to have to get a bigger belt or get smaller belt buckles. Let's dig it in. Belt buckle, Bubba. <laughs> oh, belt buckle, Bubba. <laughs> All these bands stink. Christine, are you already cooched up for this concert? Are you excited? I'm excited, yeah. Fuck, are you guys going to get a gluten-free wrap? And acoustic and a, guitar. And a, I'm so hungry. And a triple I'm hot so IPA. Jay said we can eat shitty today because we Uber Eats McDonald's Yeah, there's good, good food at the garden. Spicy chicken sandwiches in section 131. It's a weird thing to know. Yeah, it's a thing. They they fucking hang up signs. Because it's the fish thing, right? What's that called? Like a, the triple McFish sandwich or something? <laughs> no. <laughs> triple McFish? <laughs> I just said spicy chicken sandwiches, you dick. I hope you have a, what is it called? A like the, is, it called like, is it called like the buffalo fish no, chicken sandwich? No. It's just fucking there. Is they it got fish Pat Lafritas. They got good food at the garden. Pat Lafritas, meat fucking purveyor. I think it's Papa Fritas. Papa Fritas. Pat Lafrita. Great. Takes his meat fucking serious, For dude. Stan gets you can go get a well, good when he was alive. Well, whatever. The the people that run it now. I Pat Lafrita Jr. I think he died third. a little bit after the next Karate Kid. <laughs> Pat Morita? Pat Morita. Did you say I should go eat at Pat Morita's at the M at the no, Square Garden? It was good Uncle Humor there, Dad. <laughs> no, it's not an Uncle Humor. Well, maybe for age, because no one here except me apparently knew who Pat Morita was. I knew who he was. You know who he is? You Nor you keep Pat Morita. You only know him from uh, that movie Crash Course with Jay Leno and him. <laughs> there they are, Pat Morita. Good sandwiches. Uh, that doesn't look good. Well, it's just the. It's meat. a website, Jay. You can't eat that. Oh, uh, what kind of sandwich do you get? Uh, I always get a prime rib sandwich. We're probably not going to eat something very crazy because we're going to end up eating tonight like shit, like assholes. You got it. Don't go, don't be hungry at the show though. You got to eat. 
Oh, well, yeah. Get a snack. I mean, for a... Uh, the garden is fucking... For dude, Mumford? It's, it's fucking crazy. I went to Albany to see a show, and there was, like, one bathroom, one fucking ATM. The, the garden, now, like, these big, these new, renovated places, every every single section has, like, a beautiful bathroom, like, a million beers, all the food you want. It's fantastic. Can't go well, wrong. I mean, this dork fest tonight, it's yeah. gonna be real. So when you get bored listening to fucking this guy Whittle Wood on stage, you can <laughs> get yourself an artisan ciabatta pretzel. Every Every time Christine goes to the bathroom, I'm going to kiss a guy. You're going to rub mustaches with a fucking Williamsburg gay? He's like, what do you think it is? I go, I don't know. I say, I felt her kind of rumble, and it's probably a shit. We have five minutes. <laughs> I belong to you. You belong to oh. me. Hey. Have fun tonight at, uh... Hey! The Bushwick, uh... Oh. Bushwick Presents. Bushwick Presents. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Banjo music. Mike goes, nah, he goes, have fun at your concert tonight, though. I go, I didn't hear you. I was conditioning my beard. What were you saying? I said, you want to borrow my, uh, <laughs> want to borrow my leather, my, my wooden bow tie? <laughs> Jay did just get his beard done at the uh, hipster place on the block. Oh, it's not a hipster place. You can't even call it. It's like old men that work in there. It's not hipstery. Sure, it's just not young men dressed like old men? <laughs> oh, shit. That may have been it. <laughs> you have, you, you're cheating on the guy next? He goes, that guy with gray hair did have a face tattoo. <laughs> What about our guy next door? Just beard. It was just for beard. He you doesn't know, do beards. Bar- he does, but this was barber shoppy like beard, which was nice. Don't let him. My know beard's pretty big, so like now at this point I got to go to a place that like does my beard nice. Do they hot towel your Looks neck? Looks good, right, Jacob? My it beard does look good. Yeah. They hot towel it. it? They would have. I didn't know. I just really wanted to shape it up and trim, thin out the sides a little bit. That's how I played it. Yeah. Beard talk. With beard Big talk. Jay Oil. Hmm. Do you beard oil sometimes? I don't. That's pretty Brooklyn. Yeah, you might, they might have that as a giveaway tonight. <laughs> they might. You Never can use know. it on your beard and your I boots. I yeah. getting Jay some, some beard oh. Someone gave me some beard conditioner. I have yeah, some get him a mandolin, a bottle of single scotch. These are all things you can bid on <laughs> when you support Why Hunger's annual Hunger Thon donation drive. You can fist fight Pete Dominic. You can... Who smash guitars with... I don't know if any of these things are right. We're not on the page up anymore. You can hang out with Green Day. I don't know if any of these are true, but when you go to the thing, you can see what you can. I know some of the cool ones. Bennington, uh, hanging out for the Bennington Radio show. Andy. Uh, you can, NFL. You can uh, console a sad Hoda now that Kathy Lee is retiring. Um, you can drink wine at 7 in the morning. Yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, man, I hope Christine packed our friendship bracelets to sell so we could have beer money. <laughs> uh, you got to support the Hunger Thon donation you drive. you paper straw to a Mumford & Sons concert. Jeez. This is our last push on it, uh, the Hunger Thon, because they said the kill date on this was tomorrow for us reading this. But it's a really cool cause. The prizes are actually pretty pretty neat. You get to meet LL Cool J. I mean, that's a pretty badass one. That's already up to I feel like that would be a one-sided conversation. It's amazing. Yeah. Mm, just licks his lips. That's what you want, though. Can you just lick your lips? You go, the jingling baby. I'll be like, hey, LL Cool J, are your lips delicious? And I'll go... <laughs> <laughs> you know what I've been meaning to I ask I got my you? answer. <laughs> are your lips delicious? Are your lips delicious? <laughs> Can I take... Oh, let me get a taste. Mm. You act like mm. your lips are really delicious. Mm. Give me a taste. Uh, SiriusXM.com slash Hungerthon and see the items you can bid on. And I'd say lay heavy on that French kissing LL Cool J. Um, Mike Fenoya, you know his podcast. It's Amigos. It's on the Osiris Network. It's on iTunes. Uh, you know his show, Amigos, the live stand up show that is taking place Thursday, 10 30 to Comedy Cellar. Go to comedycellar.com for tickets. Um, Sal Volcano, myself, Greg Rogel, special guest on that show. Dan Soder, well, I'm not going to say he's headlining the Comedy Cellar anymore. He's almost done. Okay, so you blew it. Shane got the line. But if you are in the state or somewhere near, why don't you head over to the Capitol? Because he's going to be at the Funny Bone in Albany, December 13th through the 15th. Uh, that is this weekend coming up. Uh, Best of the Bonfire, our show that comes out on Fridays here on Sirius XM, now available as a podcast. Please download, uh, rate, review, five-star reviews. Please, you know, if that's how you feel. Uh, please give us positive uh, remarks. We just want to get numbers, everybody. Whether you love the show, hate the show, if you're listening and you're giving us your time to listen, we want to keep happening, man. So we want to have some numbers to throw at these guys when they tell us that our show ain't shit. So please make sure you uh, follow us at The Bonfire on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, uh, at The Bonfire SXM. 
And uh, check out my half hour special on Netflix. I'm going to be all over the place. I'm in North Cackalack this weekend at Dead Crow Comedy Club, Wilmington, North Carolina. Uh, two nights only, Friday, Saturday. Next weekend, Uncle, Vin- Uncle Vinny's, right? Mm-hmm. Uncle Vinny's, Point Pleasant, New Jersey. <laughs> Fenoich, now added to the shows. Uh, we'll be having fun. I think it's uh, I think it's one show Thursday, one show Friday. Well, I haven't looked. I haven't looked, but then two shows Saturday for sure. Thanks for uh, letting me hang with you guys this week, man. Oh, dude, absolutely. But Soda's coming back, so get out of here. Put your clothes on. Jump out the window. I'll wipe down the microphone. I love you guys. Soda will be back tomorrow for the Lost Tapes and the live show. I know you miss them, but hopefully we had a little fun. 